Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we'll discuss five easy ways to help you prevent fires aboard your sailboat while sailing or cruising. Conduct a sniff test before you cast off to go cruising. Open up the engine compartment, sail lockers, and bilges, and use your nose to detect fuel, oil, or foul odors that signal problems. Trace and fix the problem before you cast off, and make the same test before and after fueling. You may be able to use your engine intake vents to fight a fire from outside in the cockpit. If you have a CO2 extinguisher board, you can shoot bursts of the CO2 through the intake vents of your engine to extinguish an engine room fire. This keeps you clear of the fire and you won't need to remove the engine hatch cover to get to the fire. CO2 removes oxygen from a space, so make sure that your sailing crew or partner is in the open before you use this method. Check for loose wires or connections on the engine, batteries, or inside your boat's electrical panels. A short could cause a Class C fire, which is an electrical fire. Electrical fires are extremely dangerous and difficult to put out. That's because fire might prevent you from getting to the master switch to secure the source of the fire. Consider installing a separate remote access master switch away from the main panel in the cockpit. In an emergency, you can secure the power from the cockpit. Inspect your fuel tank once a year. Check all connections, tank walls, and the bottom of the fuel tank for dirt and sediment. Hire a pro to drain the tank and have them make a top-to-bottom inspection of the inside and outside of your fuel tank. Replace worn fittings, hoses, or even the entire tank if it's in questionable condition. Your engine must have clean fuel to run smoothly, and your fuel tank must have good integrity to prevent becoming a fire hazard. Know the limitations of your fire extinguishers. CO2 is very effective fighting fires, but it's not as effective in high winds as a dry chemical extinguisher. CO2 does not coat the surface of an area, so a reflash or reignition of the fire is always possible. Remember that CO2 removes oxygen from an enclosed space. Before you use a CO2 extinguisher, make sure that your sailing crew or partner are in a ventilated space. Dry chemical is highly effective on most types of fires. It coats an area with a fine powder, but this can cause permanent damage to your engine or electrical equipment. A dry chemical extinguisher must be discharged completely to prevent leaks, and you need to replace a dry chemical extinguisher even after a partial discharge. The best sailing solution might be to carry both dry chemical and CO2 extinguishers aboard. This will give you the edge when fighting fires. Follow these five easy fire prevention sailing tips to keep you and your sailing crew safe and sound throughout the season. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.